Hi everybody, I'm Philip Duncan. Thank you for joining us as we take a look at the next set of weather coming through. And we've got both a southerly coming in and a subtropical low coming in as well. And apologies about the voice. I'm just getting over a cold and I'm at that point where I've got a croaky voice going on. So sorry if it uh, sounds a bit weird. Let's have a look at the animated map. Low pressure is dominating the lower part of the country. It was pretty cold again this morning around the lower South Island. The next day or so remains cold as a little surge of southerly air comes in. You can actually see here it's a bit more westerly across Thursday, but actually as we get into Friday, it's a more southerly wind flow there. And up in the north, you can't see it yet, but we've got a subtropical low on the way for the North Island but it's likely to be just out at sea and probably won't cause too many issues. So this is how we look for Friday. Here is that southerly coming into the south, showers, and the temperatures do drop as you move further north into Canterbury, into Marlborough, and then later into Cook Strait and the Wellington area. So it's not a major system, just a few showers and southerlies coming in, maybe a little period of rain. In the north, it starts off dry, but a bit cloudy and as the day goes on the clouds thicken up and this low drops closer and closer there'll be some showers and maybe a little bit of patchy rain or drizzle coming in for the far north and northern parts of northland but most other areas will be dry although a couple of showers or drizzle patches are also possible along the eastern side of the north island then we get to saturday now we'll start with the south island because it's nice and easy mostly dry maybe a couple of drizzle patches around canterbury first thing that's it in the North Island, uh, it's a mostly dry morning in the lower half. In fact, it's sunnier over on the western side, so places like Taranaki down towards Whanganui, Manawatu, might be a bit of clouds spilling over from this big system coming in. Now, the rain is worst in a subtropical low. It is worst in what we call the southeastern quadrant. That is this area out here. So the worst of the rain and the wind should be out at sea, but with these big, strong uh, southeasterly winds between the center of that low and higher air pressure down here it could be pretty strong gale uh, gale force winds are possible and the rain particularly in these gold green areas could be pretty heavy around the Gisborne and Hawke's Bay ranges and lower down as well however for the other areas as you can see it's a very fine line between rain and dry and usually with a southeasterly with all the uh, energy being out at sea you tend to find it operates a little bit like a reverse nor'wester, like you see in the South Island. So you'll end up with high cloud, maybe a few spits of rain, a bit of patchy stuff coming in, but mostly dry over on the western side, which place, places like Auckland will be a little bit borderline. When you zoom in, you can sort of see exactly what I'm talking about. The, this is patchy light stuff in the blue. It's the heavy stuff out here in the gold and the greens. So I think, for the most part, the rain will be over on the eastern side. There'll be some spillover certainly into Bay of Plenty, Coromandel, and then it will brush areas like Auckland and Waikato. It is so big and close, it is one to keep an eye on. But at this stage, we do think, and we've thought this all week, that the bulk of the rain does look like it'll be out at sea, but some rain warnings may be issued for those more eastern areas. Now, as you can see by Sunday, the tracking of this low, it's going from the northwest down to the southeast. So it is not directly coming into New Zealand, even though it looks a lot like that on some of the weather maps. It does look like it's going to slide to the east. So therefore, on Sunday, Southerlies in many areas with the showers most likely around that eastern side of the North Island. And when we get to Monday next week, the high from Australia, the big beautiful high, it is coming in to the South Island and it'll be gradually coming into the north. Most of next week looks dominated by high pressure. And that is all from me.